What I do know about all of you already is that you've been on a journey that probably none of you chose and you found yourself in acute care in the hospital really struggling with um, getting better and fighting for things to get better. So everyone here has aphasia, even though you might come from different places in the world, maybe different ages, maybe different parts of the city, different backgrounds. What has brought you all together, what you all have in common here, is that communication is hard. And so that this is a place where you can feel accepted about that, and that we can talk about some ways to make communication a little bit easier, to gain some support. Everybody understands that you have a problem here and you can communicate without being criticized. To have fun. where you can kind of right, let it go a little bit, enjoy meeting some new people, enjoy conversation with other people. Manning? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Manning? Manning and yeah. still, still the 80 Seriously. games back. We're a busy place. We're a noisy, busy place. <laughs> and our community consists of our members, to all of you. I like going there because of friends, you know. I particularly like the bridge and I like to talk. Exercise and singing. Stop. 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 Our wonderful volunteers that we have. Our volunteers would say that we know we can't make the aphasia go away, but we know we can help people to live with it and live with it quite successfully. The debriefing where volunteers are sitting together with staff, usually two staff co-facilitating it, is an opportunity to talk about what went well in the group, what worked not as well, where they'd like to test their skills differently, figure out some other communication strategies that might work better. He was playing devil's advocate. <laughs> Cyclists versus drivers. Uh, no. The cars will be there anyway. So why should they have license cars? What you license cars and they pay for the infrastructure. So why not bikes? The more that we learn about our members, the easier the communication becomes. He's been so ecstatic over this yeah. book. To him is probably stuff that deep down in his heart he's always wanted to do. And maybe he's been in trap. A lot of guessing games, but we got it out in the end and he was very happy to get it all out. And it was great with like the other members participated. Is that where it is? Our family members, family or friends, who's ever kind of important to you. You're part of our community. I come here because of these wonderful women. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> we have our own uh, little chats here and can discuss things. The sense of community that we, we have here and that really being a place where people can feel that others understand. They don't necessarily need to fight so hard to share who they are, to be part of a group. And ultimately for a lot of people, that's what keeps them coming back is the sense of belonging. Of people after stroke, especially when they get aphasia, they can't communicate anymore with their family and friends. And a lot of them become very depressed. They can't socialize in the regular groups that they used to be able to. So just being at the Aphasia Institute and seeing all these people interact with each other, communicating with each other, going on events together, I love helping them to get their life back. I used to accompany my mom here when she was a member and I was keen to get in here and volunteer again just to be part of the magic that is this place. The Aphasia Institute for me was the pinnacle moment of going into the speech pathology program. My goal was to work with the aphasia adult population. I saw that the Aphasia Institute was hiring and I knew that I had liked what I was doing as a volunteer. I really wanted to go back to refresh my skills and also to take the course, it's called Train the Trainer. We bring it back to how is your life going, right? To further our clients' ability to participate in their lives. Another is being able to tell their own story. Many volunteers and family members come back to build on what has impacted us here. The inspiring attitude shift to the members who move from disappointment and isolation to a re-engagement in their lives. It's about making life larger than the aphasia. Whatever is, is better. It's gone, it's gone. Restart new. 
Everything you go want to do is there. It's a difficult time when you have a stroke, but I have now learned how to, to be, be not relax and enjoy other people rather than me thinking about myself and my career. My favorite decade is the one I'm going to because the last um, few were bad, but um, looking forward is good.